so Mickey, I know that, you know, it's kind of new us having these conversations from time to time, but, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of dudes out in the trailer. They've been hanging out for a while. Just, you know, they're going to come in from time to time. It's this weird dynamic. I know it's weird. I didn't really take you for the jealous type. Oh, he is. Ooh. Welcome to the morning routine and happy Friday. Yes, it is Friday. Yes, he's talking to Mickey. Who the heck does this guy not talk to that's an inanimate object? Yes, and welcome to Friday. It is the morning routine. It is Friday, and why do we love Fridays? It's the end of the week, man. That's why we love Fridays. The weekend's right ahead of us. That's why we like Fridays. Instant live, instant trivia, one o'clock. That's why we like Fridays. And Carl talks about movies. That's why I like Fridays. So let's talk movies. What do I keep preaching about? I've been saying it all week long. What is on its way? October, Halloween, super stoked. So that means that fall is right around the corner. And if you live in other parts of the country other than the hot, bloody California, it might the leaves might be turning colors. It might be looking like fall outside. Here in California, it's still hot as heck. But that doesn't mean we still can't be excited for fall. So. My first movie pick is a fall movie. In fact, fall is in the title. In fact, it's Legends of the Fall with Brad Pitt. And don't forget that Anthony Hopkins is in this with an outstanding performance. And this was shot in 1990, well, not shot, released in 1994, the year after I graduated from high school. But this is a great movie, one of the breakout roles for Brad Pitt. He had a few others right around this time, but this was really, this was like really getting him into the stratosphere as an actor and being able to spread his wings a bit more and kind of the different dynamics that he has. Anthony Hopkins, spot on Anthony Hopkins, great in this. This is a weird tale of all kinds of weird stuff that's going on. Love, betrayal, strangeness, wilderness, a bear. But this is a great movie, great story. It's a little bit on the long side, not too bad, 133 minutes. It's rated R for a little bit of violence, a little bit of nudity, and mostly just some language and some aggressive things uh, in there. Not super aggressive all the way through. This is like a love story with some battle sequences, with some thick drama. Very, very good movie. And aptly titled Legends of the Fall, this beautiful fall colors, it actually sprinkles itself throughout many different seasons, but the, the scenery in this and the mountain-esque area where they live in Montana, beautiful, beautiful fall colors. It really does kind of lend itself to the, the, the fall season a little bit, but great movie. If you haven't seen it, you're gonna enjoy it. Don't be afraid of the 1994 movie. This is a, this, this doesn't need any special effects. It is a really good shot movie. So it's beautiful all the way through. The story is going to capture you. It's got a little bit for everything or everybody, I should say. Great movie. Check it out. It's on Amazon Prime. So if you're a Prime member, you can get it for free. Otherwise you can rent it at a few other locations for like two or three bucks. All right, guys, that's it. Legends of the Fall. That's my movie pick. Now for my binge-worthy weekend movie series, Marathon Movies. That's a series. It's not a series. This one isn't a series, but it's on Netflix and it's on Prime. It's kind of weird. But in honor of the new James Bond movie coming out, it is not all the James Bonds. That would be way too much. Even for the binge-worthy weekend movie series, Marathon Movies, that would be too much. This is just the Daniel Craig one so the most recent ones because the new one coming out it's gonna tie a few things together apparently even some older stuff but this is a really good series now we all know you can break the james bond movies into actor series right these are different chunks of different actors doing them over the years and although they all kind of string together in one big happy uh character <laughs> the stories do not line up so they don't always trail together. In fact, none of them really do until you hit the Daniel Craig series, in which case they do start to carry themselves over a little bit. A little bit the Pierce Brosnan didn't really hold, it never really held for the genre, for the for the series itself, but the Daniel Craig version, the industry started changing and you kind of needed to carry these through. The character and the storyline needed to bleed through it a little bit because that's just the what the audience wanted. 
Okay, so this starts out with Casino Royale in 19 in 2006, 1996, I guess 2006, Casino Royale, absolutely great. Daniel Craig just bursts onto the scene. This is a great beginning to the Daniel Craig series. Next up is Quantum of Solace. Again, another Daniel Craig. This now is in 2008. And this one's on Netflix. So if you have Prime, you can watch Casino Royale. If you have Netflix, you can watch Quantum of Solace. And if you have neither, you can find them to rent on places on VOD, uh, pretty cheap, two, three bucks uh, most places. All right, moving right along. Skyfall in 2012. This was a really good movie. This uh, kind of took us all the way back to somewhat of the beginning of the James Bond series. Some history is kind of brought all the way from the beginning all the way to the end. There's some real good storytelling about the James Bond character themselves. A little behind the scenes, back in the past kind of stuff like Zach does. Back in the past stuff for James Bond. Very interesting concept. Kind of started to lose me a little bit because it was getting really personally deep for the character, which James Bond is not a deep character. He's a, he's an interesting character, but not typically a deep one. And then we got Spectre in 2015. Now this was a really good one as well. Carries on the energy. And now we kind of got really deep in Skyfall and Spectre just right back to the energy and what we needed to keep the character alive and going and know that we've got a James Bond for tomorrow. Now the downside, Skyfall and Spectre, not on any free platforms or any platforms as free. You can get them both on Prime for $2.99. There are a couple other places you can rent them on YouTube, I think it's like four bucks there, but still, great movies. You get a chance to watch all these. Maybe you can get them on, you know, if you do the old school Red Box, sometimes you can get them there. That's a pretty cool way to rent movies. But if you can find them, check them out. This is a great series. It's the Daniel Craig series of James Bond. And that is it, man. That is my movie picks for this weekend. Hopefully you guys can stay inside just a little bit. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit warmer this weekend, but we are at that time of the season where it's gonna start dipping down. Before we know it, we're gonna have daylight savings here on the West Coast and it's gonna get dark earlier. What does that mean? That means on the weekends, it's, we get to start watching movies earlier. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, September the 25th. I don't wanna say where's the month gone, but where's the month gone for me? My goodness sakes. Oh well, enough of that. Today, the national day is National Comic Book Day. You know, I have a few, they're not personally mine. I had some when I was younger, but my husband kept some of his. Not all of them, but I guess what he thinks the were the ones that might be worth money and kind of cool. But they're old and they're in the sleeves and stuff. They're really cool, like the amazing Spider-Man. Ooh, look at this. Fantastic Four. Um, oh, here we go. X-Men. Daredevil. I've never heard of this one. Shield. I mean, just Tur Turkon, the son of stone. I don't know. Oh, I know this one. The Incredible Hulk, Boris Karloff, Atomic. I don't know. They're old too. Not to say my husband's old. He's older. Um, I mean, look at this huge one. Bound up Superman. They're cool. They're old. A lot of them, they were bought for under a quarter. So, yeah, it kind of is old. I don't know if they were all his because some of the dates are really old. So he's collected them. So they're pretty cool. So keep those uh, comic books. Don't throw them away. They might be worth something someday. Have a great day on National Comic Book Day. Happy Friday, everybody. This week's 
movie pick of the week is the 1993 classic Jurassic Park and it is available on Netflix directed by Steven Spielberg and starring Jeff Goldblum. The film is based on a 1990 novel by the same name and is about a wealthy businessman who creates a theme park full of real life dinosaurs. Enjoy your Friday and have a great weekend. Hi guys. Um to the the free videos this week at the Epic Game Store on one day short, so you have only have like what six days left, five and a half days left. Um, is Roller Coaster Tycoon? Um, Brendan Seal would probably love this one. He's a big uh, fan of that series. Uh, it's very well detailed. You make roller coasters. You make amusement parks that surround these roller coasters. You try to get people to ride them. Um, you try to increase your 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 number of passengers. What it is, it's, it's kind of like your competing against yourself I guess I don't know if you're competing against somebody else in the park but you're trying to get as many passengers to like your ride as you can it's like if you make a, a ridiculously crazy or coaster that's dangerous you won't get as many riders um, it'll lose popularity fun to make you know and you can do that but you'll you'll lose uh, the the popular you'll lose points for popularity um, make them exciting but safe and you get like high popularity points. It, the more riders, the better, basically. It's very cool and it's free at the Epic Game Store right now. Roller Coaster Tycoon. Also, excuse me, also, um, Heroes and Generals World War II, also free. It's kind of like one of those um, Battlefield style games. Not quite as good as literally Battlefield, like, like um, Battlefield 1. Uh, the 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 latest I think the latest one is called five or something like that or the four not quite as good as those graphically but um, then again this one's free okay so check it out Heroes and Generals World War II also free at the Epic Game Store all you gotta do is click on the thing it'll take you to another page um, in the cost bar, like it, it takes it to like your like a, um, a checkout thing. In the cost bar, it says zero. You just click on that, and you, and you purchased it. it. Costs you nothing. There you go. Free two free games at the Epic Game Store. Check them out. Download them. Play them. And uh, have a good weekend, everybody. You're gonna have time to play those games the weekend. It's gonna be a warm one. So stay indoors. Uh, drink some water while you're in there, and uh, play yourself a few games. All right, have a good day, guys. Have a good weekend. Hey, guys, check this advice out. Find a time today, sit back, relax, take a deep breath, let everything be quiet, and then I want you to take a few moments and I want you to think about things that you can be thankful for. Pick three, pick five. Oh, take that deep breath, write those things down. And then, when life starts to get you all upset, irritated, everything's falling apart, go back, find that note, those three to five things, read those things to be thankful for, and then smile and enjoy life. Hey, it's just some advice I think you'll be thankful for later, you never know. Anyways. Happy 
Friday, everybody. Just uh, here to share with you another binge-worthy watching TV show for you guys. Uh, I know Carl will talk about some movies today, uh, but I like to watch TV shows. <coughs> okay? So, the binge-worthy watching TV show I have started out through books, then became movies. And then they came out with a TV show on Amazon Prime. It is uh, the Jack Ryan TV show. So Jack Ryan is a character created by the author Tom Clancy. Uh, Jack Ryan starred in some of the movies, uh, Hunt for Red October, Patriot uh, Games, uh, Some of All Fears, uh, and other a, a few other movies as well. But this show, it focuses on how he got his start. Uh, it's played by John Krasinski from uh, The Office. He played Jim, uh, who's one of my favorite characters in the show. He starts off as just an analyst for the CIA and slowly grows into a bigger, more prominent role. These, this show has great stories, great special effects, great explosions, gun battles, things like that. I highly recommend this. It is on Amazon Prime. There are currently two seasons. Each season is a different story, kind of like how 24 used to be back in the day. Highly recommend this. Uh, if you guys have some extra time, the series is usually about eight or nine episodes at about an hour each, and it is just a really enjoyable show. So that is my binge-worthy watching TV show. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye. Absolutely uh, awesome week. Glad everyone hung out. Been doing so much. We've been staying so busy, but we got to have our fun on the weekend. So get prepared for that. Also today, Instagram Live, 1 o'clock, Insta Live, Insta Trivia with your bestest host ever. Uh, well, he's an okay host. And then after that, we've got our final social hour for the week. It's always awesome. It's always good. And then it's the weekend, man. It's the weekend. And what starts next week? Hmm. October does. Halloween season does. You're not going to want to miss a thing. All right, guys. Have a great rest of your Friday. Take care. Have an awesome weekend if I don't see you. To the morning routine. We'll see you on Monday. <laughs>